Hey everyone, this is Eric at Gallery Precision. We're going to be doing an install on the MMP 10 millimeter. Uh, this is a Gen 2 gun, so it's a little bit different than the originals, but uh, just a couple small differences. If you're familiar with the system, it's basically the same. Get started, there's no magazine, no ammo, all that fun stuff. Build strip it like you normally would if you need to look it up in your manual. Probably shouldn't be doing this to look it up in the manual. Go ahead and take the slide off. Now this is one of the differences is the uh, older ones, this, you know, the locking block, you have to pull the takedown lever out. This one you don't. It just comes straight out the top. I like to uh, mount my pins out towards the back of the bench so that hopefully they end up still on the bench if they go flying. Alright. Now when you go to do this one, make sure the lever's out of the way. It, uh, it won't come out of the lever, it's blocking the path, obviously. This is also the one that holds your trigger turn spring in, don't sweat it. We're going to have to put that back together anyway. So to pull the locking block out, just more or less pull it straight up. It has two ears that guide it. There's your trigger, or your uh, slide lock lever spring. Slide lock lever is ambidextrous. The uh, thumb on the left side of the gun is what is driven by the follower to actuate your slide lock. All right. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Put this off to the side. When you look at this, you'll notice the small end is at the trigger bar side, and the fat end is at the trigger. The opening is up. All right. Just reference how they come from the factory. It may fall off. It may not. Not a big deal. Just put it back on there if it does, and that's the orientation. It needs to be. Okay. Oop. Yeah, my finger. Alright. Set that off to the side. Take your new trigger. Any one of those. Lined up. Just give it a couple taps to get it started. Make sure this is oriented up out of the way. Slide this in. Give it a push and you're there. Okay. Nice and seated. So when you spring up, small end to the back, fat end to the trigger. This finger, the thumb, whatever you want to call it, on the trigger bar goes right back here. All right. Drop the trigger in. Make sure the spring is oriented good. It's bound up. It's a pain later, okay? So just make sure it's seated. You don't want it hanging off to the side or anything. You know the trigger bar is right when it's up against the wall, flush like this, right? Slide lock lever goes on just like that. Thumbs on this side. Locking block, go ahead and push your lever down and just drop it in on these two tabs. There's two slots the tabs are lined up on. Push it down, alright. <clears throat> this headed pin, we're going to put it in first. Generally, it's easiest to line this guy up. And you can just sort of reach in with this pick and get yourself all the way through just like that, okay? Take a little space out. Pry it up on your pick, just like that, okay? And get it started, and all you gotta do is just sort of pop it just like that. You're all seated, okay? I will say if you've got a vise, it's always easier to use the vise. Push the lever back, slide off. Very, very short. We took all the pre-travel out you don't need. We're locking it out after the break where you don't need it. If you do have to file or fit this, I'll go ahead and tell you the back side, this is your post travel. This side right here, <clears throat> you'll want to sand that back. 
to allow more travel to the back if you have a brake issue. This is a stock sear in this gun. If you have an aftermarket sear, I have no idea. This was meant to be drop in because it's easier and cheaper than a, a sear and spring job for these. If you need more reset and the gun is not resetting, you will file the front, the front face up here right here that contacts the frame. That's what limits the pre-travel and your reset if you need to adjust it. This just drops in on most of them, but there are variances in the molding, sear location, transfer bar stampings, all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. It gives you a good overview. It's a great upgrade. It's been really popular. Everybody's enjoying it. Uh, as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.